What's up everybody? Welcome back to another tier list. Today we're going to rank each M&M, and I'm not talking flavors, I'm talking characters. The M&M Cinematic Universe, or the M&MCU, has been the longest running film franchise of all time, featuring the lovable candy characters going on wacky, crazy adventures. Let's begin with the worst goddamn guy on the planet, Mr. Dumbass himself, Orange. I fucking hate Orange. Orange began his acting career in the movie Schindler's List, some stupid movie about a summer camp. Should have stuck to the kid movies, bozo. F tier. Red Eminem. This guy is like the Bugs Bunny of Eminem, always playing pranks and cracking jokes. He's a little bit cranky sometimes though, but that's okay. Everybody has off days and I'm no stranger to rage. So I relate to the red guy. F tier. I like him. I can't get into it now, but the things I would do with the green M&M are unspeakable. I wanted to suck my dick. A tier. Miss Brown is the only M&M whose name has something more than just their color in their name. Miss Brown breaks the boundaries of what was thought possible for M&M. She's a magnificent role model to young women everywhere out there, and she wears glasses, which means she is the only M&M with a disability. We stand a disabled brown queen. Miss Brown is S tier. The blue Eminem. What a joke. I hate this guy. He's a good actor and I love his character, but behind the scenes, I heard that the blue Eminem is a misogynist and that he shot that woman from the cowboy movie just because he thought it was funny. Not cool, dude. I have a nine year old daughter. Loves the blue Eminem. Who's she supposed to look up to now? A tier. Shoot her again for me, buddy. Finally, we're at the yellow Eminem. An M&M that everybody can rally behind. This lovable goofball has been featured in so many commercials and has been our main vessel into the M&MCU since day one. Yellow is an everyman, a blank slate that us the audience can impose ourselves onto. We can relate to yellow because we are yellow. Yellow has the know-how of the M&M culture since he is one, but he also plays the fool, which allows the audience to experience his journey more closely with him. Yellow experiences a classic hero's journey as well, and it is great to see him grow as a character throughout the franchise. Sadly, we will no longer be seeing yellow in the M&MCU movies. He passed away in 2019 because of a sudden heart attack. He was found dead in his apartment. No signs of drug abuse or struggle. A sudden tragedy, ripping away this wonderful man from our lives. The world is a little bit darker without him. A tier. Oh, <laughs> you didn't think I forgot, right? You thought that was it? <laughs> no way. I couldn't. I wouldn't. Forget about the man himself, Mr. Chocolate Bar. S tier, he's number one. He's the best. He's the number one. Number one. 